just sex with the children. children. Yeah. Also, the one with the um, parents. Addicted to heroin. Um, 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 her- the one guy, yeah. Well, she's like yeah. a heroin. It's like a cheap version of heroin. Mm-hmm. Heroin mixed with all sorts um, of things. Yeah, and that was, again, like a really emotional experience. Um, there's two oh, like, parents. Yeah. But um, I, I was, that's like one of my, yeah, I don't know, just something that stuck with me, yeah, because um, they have an 11 year old child, we had the backstory, like, um, they'd lost their home, they'd, um, they'd they were involved in down, like, flat with their, like, electricity, Nick had sold their child's, um, Bobby Bear bought their child a bed, so they'd already sold it, they sold it again. Mm. So we felt quite resentful towards these parents yeah, at this stage, because we were like, gosh, like, that, like we just all of a sudden be labelled um, this little like eleven year old mm-hmm. boy then. And um but then when we did sit down with the parents, it's just crazy because we were like, gosh, they're actually such kind people. Like mm-hmm. they just got this un- uncontrollable drug addiction and um, all they want, like they can, they love their child so much and that was their so emotional. emotional. Yeah, yeah it's all right. process, but it was so nice that they were because they knew Bobby Bear was helping and we were open and we weren't judging them about this whole drug addiction. Mm-hmm. They were so emotional and awful with us about it and how yeah. it started and they were having just spending hours. Yeah, we thought they could live their dreams to come and live in England. I think one night we didn't go to bed till like 2 a.m. or something because he was going to um, the centre like the next day yeah. in the morning. Because they, we were just there to help the children at first, but it's they don't really try to do that and you know it's coming down from the parents and it's going to just continue it's not a one time help them and then leave them hopefully it'll sort itself out it was we need to sort the two parents both for addictions and then that's going to filter down to the child and his one environment so we had to send them both to separate um like rehabilitation centers they were so in love as well and they were so in love and they were so refusing to go to separate ones but if they were together then it, it just wasn't going to work and the government only wanted to help the woman mm. because it's dangerous for her to be on the street you're saying well he should just yeah. sort himself out himself or gosh it's not going to work oh, it's it's like, just like, yeah. Just, it? yeah so um yeah, that, I just can't believe how long that went. That was before we got the children, so we really like, had time yeah. to sit and talk with them. But I saw the moment where he got the um, like confirmation that he was accepted into oh, rehab, so and he just broke down into tears. Wow. He was crying, and we got the way he was just—he got with his grandma, so he was yeah. went to Johannesburg to stay while they were in rehab. But yeah, they were just so happy and so much. It was so yeah. nice to see. Well, so that's really interesting. So, and um, Bobby Bear would have been a big part of arranging where that little boy yeah, went. Like, yeah, they did. They did. They did yeah. I think mean, he was on the phone until three in the morning. Right, even to right. her. And I don't hear that from two, like on a seven hour journey all the way to Johannesburg yeah. yeah. in the middle of the night, like oh, three hours. Yeah. So then stay over for the night and then come back. Yeah. And it was so hands on. It was so quick how it happened from them being like, we're just not going to be able to do this and not know what to do. So two days later, everything was really everything I thought. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, I, I think after the there. first week, we got given our own case, which mm-hmm. we had the little girl with ADHD. Okay. The week after that, we got given um, the family where the girl was feeling like suicidal. Mm-hmm. She was like going through a lot of problems with their mom, and they said, "I'm." Um, it was just us, like yeah. in a room, but mm-hmm. they do make you feel so important, and they like. It gave you positions which we would never have the opportunity yeah. to do. Mm-hmm. So that was amazing.